Cambridge Key English Test Six by University of Cambridge ESOL Examinations, in conjunction with Cambridge University Press. This recording is copyright. This is the Cambridge Key English Test, Paper Two, Listening, Test Number One. There are five parts to the test. Parts one, two. Three, four, and five. We will now stop for a moment before we start the test. Please ask any questions now, because you must not speak during the test. Now look at the instructions for part one. You will hear five short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There is one question for each conversation. For questions one to five, put a tick under the right answer. Here is an example. How many people were at the meeting? Were there many people at the meeting? About thirty. That's not many. No, but more than last time. The answer is thirty, so there is a tick in box C. Now we are ready to start. Look at question one. One. What must the man turn off? Let's go, or we'll be late. Did you turn off the lights upstairs? Yes, but wait a minute. I can hear the radio in the kitchen. Oh dear, that's the television. I was watching the news. Can you go and turn it off, and I'll start the car. Okay. Now listen again. Let's go, or we'll be late. Did you turn off the lights upstairs? Yes, but wait a minute. I can hear the radio in the kitchen. Oh dear, that's the television. I was watching the news. Can you go and turn it off, and I'll start the car. Okay. Two. Where's the girl's pen? Where's my blue pen? I'm sure I put it in my bag. Oh, sorry. I used it to do my homework, and I left it on the table in the kitchen. I can't see it. Oh, I know. It's by the phone. I used it again to take a message and forgot to put it back in your bag. I'll get it for you. Now listen again. Where's my blue pen? I'm sure I put it in my bag. Oh, sorry. I used it to do my homework, and I left it on the table in the kitchen. I can't see it. Oh, I know. It's by the phone. I used it again to take a message and forgot to put it back in your bag. I'll get it for you. Three. What will the boy do this evening? Are you going to practice your guitar with your friends here this evening? Matthew's playing in a football match tonight, so we're going to do it tomorrow. Will you wash the car for me then? It's very dirty. Sorry, Mum. I'm going to go and watch Matthew play. I'll do the car for you at the weekend. Now listen again. Are you going to practice your guitar with your friends here this evening? Matthew's playing in a football match tonight, so we're going to do it tomorrow. Will you wash the car for me then? It's very dirty. Sorry, Mum. I'm going to go and watch Matthew play. I'll do the car for you at the weekend. Four. What animals did they see on their holiday? Did you see any monkeys when you were on holiday in Kenya? Lots of them. But we weren't so lucky with the lions. Oh, that's a pity. What about elephants? 
Not this time. But we're going back next year, so maybe we'll see some elephants then. Now listen again. Did you see any monkeys when you were on holiday in Kenya? Lots of them. But we weren't so lucky with the lions. Oh, that's a pity. What about elephants? Not this time. But we're going back next year, so maybe we'll see some elephants then. Five. What does the man want to buy? Do you think this sweater will look nice with my jacket? The colour isn't quite right. What about that lovely blue shirt over there? It is nice, but I've got lots of shirts already. I need something warm to wear under my jacket. Well, let's look in another shop then. Now listen again. Do you think this sweater will look nice with my jacket? The colour isn't quite right. What about that lovely blue shirt over there? It is nice, but I've got lots of shirts already. I need something warm to wear under my jacket. Well, let's look in another shop then. This is the end of part one. Now look at part two. Listen to David and Eva talking about a school art lesson. Where did they and their friends go to draw their pictures? The questions 6 to 10 write a letter A to H next to each person. You will hear the conversation twice. I really enjoyed the art lesson yesterday, Eva. Me too, David. I liked going into the city to draw different places. Is this your picture of the museum? Yes. What did you draw? I couldn't decide between the castle and the market. In the end, I did a drawing of people buying vegetables. Do you know what Luke drew? Yes. I met him in a cafe after the lesson. His picture was of some people in the park having a picnic. I know Mary loves drawing water. Did she go to the river? She went to the sports centre and drew some children having a swimming lesson. What about Patrick? We were walking to the market together, but then he saw someone cleaning windows in the bank and he stopped to draw that. Christina is the best artist. I saw her in Bridge Street, sitting at a table having a drink. She was drawing a waiter talking to a customer. The picture looked really good. What a great art lesson! Now listen again. I really enjoyed the art lesson yesterday, Eva. Me too, David. I liked going into the city to draw different places. Is this your picture of the museum? Yes. What did you draw? I couldn't decide between the castle and the market. In the end, I did a drawing of people buying vegetables. Do you know what Luke drew? Yes. I met him in a cafe after the lesson. His picture was of some people in the park having a picnic. I know Mary loves drawing water. Did she go to the river? She went to the sports centre and drew some children having a swimming lesson. What about Patrick? We were walking to the market together, but then he saw someone cleaning windows in the bank and he stopped to draw that. Christina is the best artist. I saw her in Bridge Street, sitting at a table having a drink. She was drawing a waiter talking to a customer. The picture looked really good. What a great art lesson! This is the end of part two. Now look at part three. Listen to Dawn talking about her trip to California. For questions 11 to 15, tick A, B or C. You will hear the conversation twice. Look at questions 11 to 15 now. You have 20 seconds.
Now listen to the conversation. Hello, Dawn. I haven't seen you for weeks. Well, last month I went to California for a concert. How did you get the concert ticket? My computer wasn't working, so I couldn't use the internet, and the post takes too long. So I called the ticket office and booked one that way. Really? Was your plane ticket expensive? Well, most people pay three hundred and fifty pounds, but my student ticket was only two hundred and thirty pounds. Even flights booked on the internet cost three hundred pounds. Great. Did you stay in a student hotel? I was so lucky. My mother's old school friend let me use her apartment. That was nicer than going to a student place or a campsite. Tell me about the concert. Well, one group didn't come, so it finished an hour early. That made me angry. But the music was great and very loud. I loved it. Did you go to the beach? Well, it was a long bus trip to get there, so I only went once. Anyway, I spent most days buying clothes. <laughs> it all sounds great. Now listen again. Hello, Dawn. I haven't seen you for weeks. Well, last month I went to California for a concert. How did you get the concert ticket? My computer wasn't working, so I couldn't use the internet, and the post takes too long. So I called the ticket office and booked one that way. Really? Was your plane ticket expensive? Well, most people pay three hundred and fifty pounds, but my student ticket was only two hundred and thirty pounds. Even flights booked on the internet cost three hundred pounds. Great. Did you stay in a student hotel? I was so lucky. My mother's old school friend let me use her apartment. That was nicer than going to a student place or a campsite. Tell me about the concert. Well, one group didn't come, so it finished an hour early. That made me angry. But the music was great and very loud. I loved it. Did you go to the beach? Well, it was a long bus trip to get there, so I only went once. Anyway, I spent most days buying clothes. <laughs> it all sounds great. This is the end of part three. Now look at part four. You will hear Andre telling a friend about his tennis lessons. Listen and complete questions sixteen to twenty. You will hear the conversation twice. Did you win your match last night, Andre? Yes, I'm much better since I started having tennis lessons with my new teacher, Paul. How often do you have lessons? Every Wednesday, because the only other day he teaches is Friday, and I can't go then. You like tennis? Why don't you come too? Hmm. How much are the lessons? That's the first question my parents will ask. I give Paul twelve pounds, and he teaches me for an hour. It's not expensive. No, Maria pays eighteen pounds an hour. But she goes to the tennis club. Paul works at the tennis courts in Gerald Street. How do you spell that? G E R A L D. Okay. And what time's your lesson? Can I come and meet Paul next time? Yes. I start at six fifteen, and play until quarter past seven. You can come at the same time. Okay. What should I wear? You don't need to wear a tennis dress. Shorts and a t-shirt will be fine. All right. See you then. Now listen again. Did you win your match last night, Andre? Yes. I'm much better since I started having tennis lessons with my new teacher, Paul. How often do you have lessons? Every Wednesday. 
because the only other day he teaches is Friday, and I can't go then. You like tennis? Why don't you come too? Hmm. How much are the lessons? That's the first question my parents will ask. I give Paul twelve pounds, and he teaches me for an hour. It's not expensive. No, Maria pays eighteen pounds an hour. But she goes to the tennis club. Paul works at the tennis courts in Gerald Street. How do you spell that? G E R A L D. Okay. And what time's your lesson? Can I come and meet Paul next time? Yes, I start at six fifteen, and play until quarter past seven. You can come at the same time. Okay. What should I wear? You don't need to wear a tennis dress. Shorts and a t-shirt will be fine. All right. See you then. This is the end of part four. Now look at part five. You will hear someone talking on the radio about a hotel in Ireland. Listen and complete questions twenty-one to twenty-five. You will hear the information twice. This week I'm going to tell you about my favourite hotel. It's in the west of Ireland, and the best time to go there is June. I've loved this hotel since I was a child. It's called the White Hotel because it's always painted that colour. It's built on one of the most beautiful islands I have ever visited, Achill Island. You say Achill, but it's spelt A C H I L L. It's one of the oldest hotels in this part of the country. It was built in 1859. And the rich and famous have enjoyed going there ever since. You can see the sea or mountains from every room, but it's difficult to book a bedroom there because there are only thirty-six of them, and the hotel can't take more than fifty guests at one time. Visitors also enjoy the hotel restaurant. People go there from all over the world to eat its fish. It's caught that day in the sea round the island. Try it cooked with tomatoes. So, if you want more. Now listen again. This week I'm going to tell you about my favourite hotel. It's in the west of Ireland, and the best time to go there is June. I've loved this hotel since I was a child. It's called the White Hotel. Because it's always painted that colour, it's built on one of the most beautiful islands I have ever visited, Achill Island. You say Achill, but it's spelt A C H I L L. It's one of the oldest hotels in this part of the country. It was built in 1859, and the rich and famous have enjoyed going there ever since. You can see the sea or mountains from every room, but it's difficult to book a bedroom there because there are only thirty-six of them, and the hotel can't take more than fifty guests at one time. Visitors also enjoy the hotel restaurant. People go there from all over the world to eat its fish. It's caught that day in the sea round the island. Try it cooked with tomatoes. So. If you want more, this is the end of part five. You now have eight minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet. That is the end of the test.